What's good, man? So I'm in front of the Emu Hill, and yesterday Anissa broke the pool. So Walmart and um, Dollar General don't got no pools right now. We probably gotta wait till it gets closer to the middle of the summer for them. So I'm gonna, uh, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna go in there and use the this first, and just get all the rocks up because it's real hard to dig. I'm gonna dig a shallow pond, put the tarp over, it, put the dirt over the sides. Yeah, man, I'm just giving them a nice little shallow pond for them to have. It'll be big enough for about a few of them to get in. And yeah, let's get it. Yeah, look at this. Now our package is walking up in the herd. How cool is that, <laughs> bro? <laughs> they probably came up for water. I'm working on the pond. It's actually coming pretty good. I discovered a tarp under, so I'll just probably put my tarp on top of that one if that don't hold, but we gonna see, man. It's real cool. I don't know if y'all know. Look at how hard this is to dig. Especially when you hit the rock. So it would take forever for me to record this. That's why I do the time lapse. Even when building, this stuff would be hours just to come down to like a five, 10 minute video. So it's crazy. But yeah, man, these boys thirsty. So I got to get back to it. Cause if not, I'm gonna have to put a bunch of buckets out here. And that would be so inconvenient, inconvenient. So let me get back to the digging. <laughs> All right, halfway through, it's not looking like much. Obviously, if you look, I done got as deep as I can go. So now I just gotta go back and get deeper. I plan to go about right here. So it'll be all of this dirt that I done already dug up right here, all this dirt. But when it ain't looking like much, it's a bit discouraging, especially I'm sweating my ass off. But uh, pretty soon it'll start looking better, so yep. All right, man. Whew. Look way better. Pretty deep. You got deep, yeah. This is as deep as it'll go, but it's about as deep as the pool, so that's cool. Uh, it won't go no deeper because it's a tarp right here. And of course I could cut it up, but ain't no point in that. So now I'm gonna get another tarp to put over it. Fill that tarp on top of it with dirt so that it, uh, the sides don't pull up and then go from there. All right, y'all, so here it is. Pretty cool square. And this is as deep as it goes. We didn't even know it was a tarp under here, so now we know. If anything, I could cut it out, but this would be perfect size for a shallow pond. So let's put the tarp on top and then bury the uh, sides of the tarp. That was just a crazy amount of work, but let me show y'all what I done did. All right, so there it is. And now I'm gonna bring the hose and start filling it up. Whew, whew, whew.
Hey right, man, we're gonna check on the snakes. So. I think we got all of some cool shit. From cutter, that's pretty cool. Half and half, split down the middle. Something cool to show people when they come around. But for now, I'll just put that back. Whoa. Hey, the wet and cold. Don't bite me. This is cuddling my carpet python. It's pretty cool. She just shed, so she's looking all good. Set the flash on. So, yeah, man, she just said, uh, shed. So, she's looking real good. Color's looking good. And she just ate four chicks that we got from Tractor Supply. So, she's eating real good, moving good. As you can see, she's pretty active. Yeah, man, this is the first snake that we checking on tonight. Real cool snake. Carp pythons are from Australia. Semi-arboreal. And they come in all different types of colors. They're really cool snakes. I love them. And I didn't have cuddles for the longest. As you can see, she's really healthy. She doesn't get pretty thick. Um, but like every other week diet. And yeah, it's either one large rat or three chicks. So either or. And then she got some really big chickens over the summer. Last summer it was cool. So she might put on some more weight. Now she's starting to get a bit older. Um, I've had her since, I believe, 2017, so she was way smaller back then. She ain't never been nobody. Um, she'll do a warning strike where she jumps her head at you, but she doesn't open her mouth. But she ain't never tried to bite me, besides if I had a rat in my hand. She eats chickens now, like I said, but back when I lived in the city, she ate rats. Large rats, they're way easier to get because way more reptile keepers. Now I'm like the only reptile keeper for 80 to 100 miles. It's crazy. Pretty cool though, cool snake. In her enclosure, pretty tall, she's taller than me. She got a hot spot right here that goes down in here. She got a ceramic heat emitter. And then down there, as you can see, she's all wet. She's got her water bowl. I'm assuming to add a high box. And I actually want to give her this whole thing and then make another one either over here or behind John just for the boa constrictor, which I'll show you right now. And I don't really like showing the feedings of the snakes just because it's too gruesome, especially when I'm feeding a live chick. Don't nobody gonna see that. That's really sad. So, yeah, especially when I feed the big snake rabbits. I just drop them in there and go outside because hearing the rabbits, you never would think a rabbit would squeal, and they do, so it's sad, so I don't show it. So, here's the boa constrictor rescue that I got. Um, I'll put a video in, but when we first got her, she was like puking water. It was ridiculous. So, she's doing way better now, and yeah, I'm going to pick her up. Uh... This girl actually is nowhere near tame. Um, so, I just wanna show her like I'm not food, and then we'll go from there. <sighs> okay, so when I first got her, she was uh, used for a breeder. The guy said she, he was like, well, she'll have 40 babies for you. You breed her, you'll make so much money. And I wasn't really interested in breeding her, I just wanted her. And so I paid $80 for her. And as soon as we got home, put her in her new enclosure. And I took her out, which I probably shouldn't have done. But she just started puking water. And it was a whole bunch of water. It was crazy. But now she's pretty cool. And I say she's not tame just because I haven't spent the time with her that I spent with the reticulated python and with cuddles. But she's still a pretty cool animal to where she's never bit me. <laughs> and so that's always cool with snakes, you know, because... I've had some snakes in the past that do nothing but bite you. And then I've also had some sweethearts like cuddles and like the reticulated python that <clears throat> don't bite at all. And so I don't see how she could have been a big, a great breeder when she's not even that big. But 
I don't know. She eats pretty well too. She did go on a food strike about two months ago, but she ate three chicks as well last week. So this week I won't be doing any feeding videos. I keep saying that because I just don't like the thought of showing live feedings. If I do frozen thought ever, uh, I do that. But right now we're feeding chicks because it's the most affordable and him or her and cuddles can eat chicks. So that's what we're doing. So. We're not showing that. Sorry, guys. Let's save the channel for that. But, yeah, man. This boy Constrictor has came a long way. She was way skinnier than this. And, yeah. Went on a food strike, which wasn't good. Always stresses you out. But she's doing good now. So I'm glad she ate the chicks. And Cuddles don't ever go on a food strike. She'll eat any chick, literally. Carbon Python is like a garbage machine. But... Like literally, this is a brand new snake relatively. Like if she could nail me and chooses not to, I put my face in her face and she doesn't bite me like, you know? So for her to, of course she knows me now cause I had it since like went to Chicago. So a little over a year, but still cool snake. And to be aggressive, like you said, she's just a breeder. He didn't handle her. And she had an aggressive food response. I believe all snakes, relatively have a crazy food response that are this size cuddles the carpet python size and then the retic that i'm about to show you next his size so all right so last up is my reticulated python oops the last snake up is my reticulated python he actually ate 12 no 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 10 rabbits total in the span of the last two months. So crazy. Um, he's in shed right now, so probably shouldn't be doing that, but it's all good. He's been nothing but a sweetheart to me. So I don't think now is the time that he'll bite me. <sighs> What's up, bro? super big but he's a, my biggest snake and he's pretty heavy so he's an articulated python he's a male sunfire tiger and boy 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 <sighs> this is why they say you should have a spot with you because you wrap his neck you wrap around your neck and boy you're out there but also he's just a heavy body snake man like Burmese python and anaconda are much heavier, but even at this size where it's like he's only seven years old, he's still got a lot of growing to do and he's heavy. <laughs> so believe it or not, this is like a medium sized reticulated python. He's still got a lot of growing to do. I don't overfeed him or like power feed him or any of that. So he's not going to be one of those bigger than me. Cause usually the females get bigger, but when you power feed them, these snakes can get really, really huge, really, really fast. And so he eats every two weeks. And man, we're lucky enough to find a rabbit breeder only 26 minutes away. So I'm actually working on an enclosure over there. It's seven feet by seven feet by the ceiling high, so however tall the ceiling is, they have branches all the way up there, a heat lamp, ceramic heat emitter, and another heat lamp up there. It's gonna be really cool, so. I'm gonna start working on his enclosure in the next week or so. And boy, oh boy, that's my update on the snakes, guys. I did a lot of work today building that pond for the emu and the alpaca, so I did not go outside and work anymore after that digging through rocks is incredibly difficult but this is what i mean by this guy's an actual sweetheart he's in shed right now and he's letting me touch on his face yeah he's pulling back but it's just a warning sign you know look at this blah, 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 blah. he doesn't like it but he'll tolerate it <laughs> he won't bite me in my lips so oh man this is my big snake man and it's pretty soon 
I get about two, three days. He'll be in his new enclosure, so that'll be awesome. And yeah, man. Thank y'all for watching. Ooh, I'm dropping more reptile content, but I'm so busy building right now. Man, I still got so much more to build, so the reptiles are just kind of on the back burner. They're still getting fed and watered, and then it's literally outside to build. But hopefully by the end of the summer, I'll be able to do a full vlog style video where I can incorporate the inside animals, outside animals, the dogs, me and the lifestyle, everything. Just building takes up to so much energy, so much time that it's even hard to edit a video. So let alone pull out the reptiles when it's easier to just come in here, change the water, feed them, and then get to what I gotta do. So yeah, man. Thank y'all for watching. I really appreciate it. And they say don't hold the reticulated python unless you have another person in the room with you. So that's what you should do. Whew. Have a good evening for me and my big boy.